How's it going everyone, Roslyn here, and today I've got another Persona build video for you for Persona 3 Reload. And this time we're going to be making the same Siegfried that I am currently using in my own Merciless playthrough. Now this Persona may be a mid to late game Persona, but it is powerful enough that if you wanted to, you could use it clear up until the very end of the game. It is that strong. As with my previous builds, I'm going to start by showcasing the build itself and going over my skill choices and my reasoning behind them. Then I'll follow that up by walking you through the fusion process step by step. So let's get into it. So here's the Siegfried that we're going to be building today. Graveblade is our single target skill of choice with Vorpal Blade for AoE situations. If you wanted to make this a little bit earlier, you could choose to use Deathbound instead of Vorpal Blade, but Deathbound not only deals quite a bit less damage than Vorpal Blade, it also only has an 85% chance to hit baseline, whereas Vorpal Blade has a 100% base chance. Charge is taken so that we can get that sweet 2.5 times multiplier on our next attack, and Resist Dark shores up Siegfried's only weakness. Next we have Apt Pupil and Crit Rate Amp, which are taken to increase our crit chance and pair very nicely with the innate crit chance that both Brave Blade and Vorpal Blade have. And finally Slash Amp and Slash Boost are there to give us that nice 75% increased damage to all of our Slash damage. Now you could also add Crit Rate Boost as well as Single Target Boost to the build, but in doing so you would need to give up two of either Vorpal Blade, Charge, or Resist Dark. And while adding those two skills to the build would certainly increase its output, the actual increase is pretty minuscule and not really worth giving up Charge, Warble Blade, or even Resist Dark for. So with that explanation of the skills out of the way, let's go ahead and make the Siegfried. Alright, so for this fusion, you're going to need a Decarabia. You're also going to need Anubis. Now Anubis does need to be level 45, as that's when he learns Resist Dark. You can do this by giving him a Growth skill card, which will have him learn it passively. You can also find him through Shuffle Time, which will expedite the process. Now you'll notice that mine is only level 40, but still has Resist Dark. This is because my actual Anubis that I use no longer has Resist Dark, and so for demonstration purposes for this video, I refused Anubis and just passed down Resist Dark to him. I hope you don't mind me not wanting to level up Anubis again for this. And then we'll also need a Laxus, a King Frost, and a Jikokuten. Jikokuten does need to be level 34 to learn Slash Boost, but if you want to use a skill card, then it doesn't actually matter. So once that is done, we can fuse the Decarabia and Anubis to make an Uriel. And this is where we'll be getting our Vorpal Blade from. But here we want to pass down the Resist Arc. Okay, and then we'll be fusing Laxus with Uriel to make a Chernabog. This will be getting us Apt Pupil. Now this Chernabog will learn um, Brave Blade, but Siegfried learns that, so don't worry about it. But we'll be passing down Vorpal Blade and Resist Arc here. Okay, and then we'll fuse the King Frost and the Chikokuten to make an Oribus, passing down the Slash Boost. If you were using a skill card, you could actually just skip this step and use an Oribus instead, not worry about this. But this is for people who don't have the Slash Boost skill card or don't want to use one. Same can be said for the Apt Pupil as well use a skill card for that as well instead. Okay, and then we will fuse the Chernabog and the Oribus to make a Siegfried, and pass down the Tempest Slash, or the Vorpal Blade, Resist Arc, Slash Boost, and Apt Pupil. Now, if your Strength S-Link is high enough, the build will be completed here. We'll take the Crit Rate Amp. 
the Brave Blade. Uh, and in my case, my strength S-Link is not currently at max, so I do not get the experience to get up to 61 for Slash Amp. So if you are like me in this case, then what you would do is use a skill card. So you would come over to your skill cards, ideally use a Growth 3 skill card. Put that over Auto Rebellion. And then you would just replace this Growth 3 once you're Siegfried actually hit 61 to complete the build. So that will do it for this Siegfried build for Persona 3 Reload. If you liked the build and want to see more of this content from me, please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Also, if you have any questions about this video, Persona 3 Reload, or any other game that I cover, feel free to hit me up over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash roslingaming or my Discord server, both of which are linked in the video description below. Until next time, take care.